What's up everyone? Welcome to Master Bootstrap, a step-by-step -step guide for beginners. If you're ready to dive into the world of front-end development and build beautiful, responsive websites with ease, you're in the right place. Bootstrap is like that trusty toolbox you always wished you had. It's packed with pre-built components, a powerful grid system, and tons of utilities to make your life as a developer so much easier. Whether you're a complete beginner or you've dabbled in web development before, this course will take you from zero to hero in no time. Over the next 10 chapters, we'll break down everything step by step with clear explanations and practical examples. We'll cover everything from the absolute basics to more advanced concepts, so you'll have a solid foundation to build upon. So grab your favorite text editor and let's get this bootstrap party started. All right, before we jump into the awesomeness of Bootstrap, let's make sure we have a solid foundation. It's like building a house. You need a strong base. In web development, that base is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Don't worry if these sound intimidating. We'll quickly review them. HTML is the structure of your web page. Think of it like the walls and roof. CSS is all about styling, making your website look good, adding colors, fonts, and layout. Think of it as the paint and furniture. And finally, we have JavaScript, the magic that makes things interactive. It's like adding lights, doors that open, and maybe even a fancy elevator to your house. Now, you don't need to be a master of these languages to start with Bootstrap, but a basic understanding will make your journey much smoother. If you're already familiar with these, feel free to skip ahead, but if you need a refresher, check out some amazing resources online. There are tons of free tutorials and courses available. Once you feel comfortable with the basics, we'll dive into the world of Bootstrap. Okay, now that we've got the basics covered, let's officially dive into the world of Bootstrap. First things first, head over to the official Bootstrap website, getbootstrap.com. It's your one-stop shop for everything Bootstrap. You'll find all the documentation, examples, and even a handy cheat sheet there. Now, there are a couple of ways to get Bootstrap into your project. The easiest way is to use a CDN that's a content delivery network. Basically, it's like borrowing Bootstrap from their servers instead of storing it in your project. You just need to add a couple of lines of code to your HTML file and boom, you're good to go. Don't worry, we'll walk you through it step by step. Once you've got Bootstrap linked up, you're ready to start building. Let's talk about one of the most powerful features of Bootstrap, the grid system. This is where Bootstrap really shines. Think of the grid system as a set of invisible columns that help you organize and structure your content. It's like having a magic layout tool that adapts to different screen sizes. Bootstrap uses a 12 column grid system, which means you can divide your page into 12 equal parts. You can then place your content within these columns and Bootstrap will handle the rest, making sure your website looks great on desktops, laptops, tablets, and mobile phones. We'll start by creating a simple grid layout with rows and columns. You'll learn how to adjust the column widths for different screen sizes using Bootstrap's predefined classes. Trust me, once you get the hang of the grid system, you'll be building responsive layouts like a pro. Mm, chapter 4. Building blocks of awesome Bootstrap components. One of the best things about Bootstrap is that it comes with a treasure chest of pre-built components. These are like ready-made building blocks that you can easily drop into your project. We're talking buttons, forms, alerts, navbars, models, you name it, Bootstrap probably has it. Using these components is super simple. You just need to add a few lines of code and Bootstrap takes care of all the styling and functionality for you. This saves you a ton of time and effort, allowing you to focus on the bigger picture building awesome websites. In this chapter, we'll explore some of the most commonly used Bootstrap components. You'll learn how to customize them to fit your needs and how to combine them to create more complex and visually appealing user interfaces. Chapter 5. Making it your own. Customizing Bootstrap. Bootstrap is awesome right out of the box, but sometimes you need to add your own personal touch. That's where customization comes in. Bootstrap's default styles are a great starting point, but you'll often want to tweak them to match your project's design requirements. The good news is that customizing Bootstrap is easier than you might think. We'll explore different approaches to customization, including overriding Bootstrap's CSS rules with your own styles and using SAS, a CSS preprocessor that makes managing your styles a breeze. Don't worry if you haven't used SAS before, we'll guide you through it. By the end of this chapter, you'll be able to transform Bootstrap's look and feel to align perfectly with your creative vision. Chapter 6. Utilities, your secret weapon for efficiency. 
In the world of bootstrap, utilities are your secret weapon for writing cleaner, more efficient code. Think of them as shortcuts for common CSS properties. Want to add some margin to an element? There's a utility class for that. Boom! Another utility class to the rescue. Bootstrap provides a wide range of utility classes for spacing, display properties, text alignment, and more. By using these utilities, you can avoid writing a lot of custom CSS, which keeps your code base leaner and easier to maintain. We'll explore some of the most useful bootstrap utilities and show you how they can save you time and effort in your development workflow. All right, let's add some interactivity to our bootstrap projects. Bootstrap comes bundled with a set of JavaScript components that can really bring your websites to life. These components handle common JavaScript interactions like modals, dropdowns, carousels, and tooltips without you needing to write a ton of custom JavaScript. They're built on top of jQuery, a popular JavaScript library, but don't worry if you're not familiar with jQuery. Bootstrap makes it super easy to use these components with minimal JavaScript knowledge. We'll walk you through the process of implementing and customizing these components, showing you how to create engaging and dynamic user experiences with just a few lines of code. Chapter 8, Level Up Your Layouts with Flexbox. Ready to take your layout skills to the next level? In this chapter, we'll dive into the world of Flexbox, a powerful layout module that gives you even more control over your content. Bootstrap 5, the latest version, embraces Flexbox for its grid system and many other components. Understanding how Flexbox works will make you a more proficient Bootstrap developer. We'll cover the fundamental concepts of Flexbox, such as Flex Direction, Flex Wrap, and Alignment Properties. Don't be intimidated by the new terminology we'll break it down in a way that's easy to understand. By the end of this chapter, you'll be able to create complex and responsive layouts with ease, harnessing the full power of Flexbox in Bootstrap 5. Chapter 9, From Theory to Reality, Building Real Projects. All right, it's time to put all that Bootstrap knowledge into practice. The best way to truly master any framework is to build real-world projects. In this chapter, we'll roll up our sleeves and create some awesome projects together. We might build a personal portfolio to showcase your skills, an e-commerce website to sell your products, or maybe even a blog to share your thoughts with the world. The possibilities are endless. As we build these projects, we'll not only reinforce the concepts we've learned, but also introduce you to best practices, problem-solving techniques, and useful tips and tricks that will make you a more confident bootstrap developer. Chapter 10, Beyond the Core, Plugins and Extensions. Um, congratulations, you've made it to the final chapter. By now, you have a solid understanding of Bootstrap's core features and how to build amazing websites. But the Bootstrap journey doesn't end there. There's a whole world of plugins and extensions out there that can take your projects to the next level. These plugins extend Bootstrap's functionality, adding features like sliders, date pickers, image galleries, and much more. We'll explore some popular Bootstrap plugins and show you how to integrate them into your projects. We'll also touch upon some resources where you can discover even more plugins and extensions to enhance your Bootstrap development toolkit. And that's a wrap. You've reached the end of our Bootstrap journey. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've learned a ton. By now, you have a solid understanding of Bootstrap's core concepts, from the grid system and components to utilities, JavaScript interactions, and even Flexbox. You've seen how to customize Bootstrap to match your vision and how to extend its functionality with plugins. Remember, the key to mastering any skill is practice. Keep building projects, experimenting with new ideas, and don't be afraid to break things along the way. That's how you learn and grow as a developer. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more web development tutorials and tips. And don't forget to click the bell icon to stay updated on new uploads. Keep coding, keep creating, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible on the web. Thanks for watching. By following this roadmap, you'll be well on your way to mastering Bootstrap. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tutorials.